Uh. What? What? What is happening? What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. So, I have got to say, yeah, uh, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for all the comments. Thanks for everything. Because you have made me realize that I have got to do Gek missions. I didn't realize that there was a um, a mission, like a uh, a class mission specifically with with each uh, each deal. So I need to do that. Uh, hold on. I want to make sure I'm on the correct thing. Space anomaly. This guy. Fantastic. Perfect. So we are going to progress with the story. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Cause I was like, I was, I was seriously bummed that this wasn't working. I was like, man, I don't, I don't understand what's going on, but that's why, that's why I depend on you guys. All of your support. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you again for that. All the comments, all the support. I love it. It's fantastic. I do read the comments. I try to read through everything. Um, but yes. So if you enjoy this episode and you want to see more, definitely leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Oh, we're creeping up on the 100k. We're at like 87 and a half right now. Oh man, am I, I'm excited and I couldn't do it without you guys. So, all right, mission agent right here. Yep. Uh, browse missions. Yeah, right there. Boom. That's a Gek mission. Oh man, I have to do it. Oh, I have to do it. Darn it. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't have a choice. Okay, and there's no other Gek missions either. So I have to do that one specifically. All right. So it looks like we're going to go raid a um a planetary depot. Darn it. I'm going to have to. That means we're going to get like in trouble and all of that wonderful, fun stuff. Okay, so do I have uh this guy? Okay, destroy planetary depots. Warning, destruction of dep depot facilities may attract Sentinel. Attention. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start up this right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I'm not really excited because I don't want to do that. Also, other things on the agenda that we need to get done. No, it's not going to get done this episode, but uh, we need to get through the story. That way we can start getting the glyphs. Because once we get glyphs, we can travel to portals and like all of that fun stuff. I need an S-Class multi-tool. We need some S-Class ships. We need all of the S-Class stuff. So that is going to come after we finish the story, after we get the glyphs, that way we can just teleport to him because uh, trying to find him is like a needle in a haystack and that's kind of a pain. But uh, yes, oh, I'm so excited to actually progress this. Now, this is only one of two. So I'm gonna have to do this one and we're gonna have to do an additional one after this, but that's all right, we'll get it knocked out. We'll get it knocked out this episode. But I think we are looking at approximately, uh, where are we? I think there's like three missions left. There's this mission. I think there's like three other main missions after this one before we finish this storyline specifically. Did I park far enough away? My gosh. Uh, bolt caster. Okay, ready to go. Fantastic. That was weird. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. It's weird. My multi tool is. It feels. Okay, there it goes. I was like, what's going on with it? And it's not moving as I run either. It's just like, like stationary. Anyways. Oh, okay. Yep. No have a choice. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Oh, they still don't know where it's getting shot from. Can I do this without, like, alerting them? That would be fantastic. Oh, we're just going to snipe it. We're just going to snipe it from afar. They don't know where. Inventory's full. I don't, I don't even care. Not even worry about it. Doing it for the mission. Nothing else. Okay. We did it. We did it. And they're looking for me. They don't know where I'm at. That was amazing. That worked out so well. So this planet specifically is a... Uh, the Sentinel activity is like extremely low. So I wonder if that had anything to do with it. That was... <laughs> that was too easy. Oh, I love it. And I know I dropped all the resources. It's fine. I'm not even... Like, I don't even care. I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm not here for the resources. I'm here for the missions. All right, so let's go turn this bad boy back in, and then let's see if we can't get another one and do another Gek mission. Hello, Mr. Mission Agent Dude. Okay. Uh, hand in missions. That one. Fantastic. Nanites received. Oh, standing with Gek increased by one. 
Yes. Okay. Now, do you have any more browse missions? Uh, raid a planetary harvester. Let's do that one. Accept the mission. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, it's on the same planet because that planet was that worked out fantastically. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Leaving. Goodbye. All right. So now, let's go check the log. Oh wait. You know what? Uh, yeah. Let's go to log. Yes, one of two. <laughs> it's not bugged. Uh, I trusted you guys. Don't worry. Okay. Raid a planetary harvester. And are we doing the exact same thing? I feel like we're doing the exact same thing. Hopefully it's on the exact same planet. Uh, it does look like it's on the same planet. Maybe it is. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. It is. And it's the exact same one, isn't it? Oh, steel industrial secrets. Ooh. Ooh, this could be fun. Oh my gosh, it's the exa it's the place that I was right next to when I landed last time. <laughs> we saw this place when we landed. That's hilarious. Okay. All right, let's see. Now, all we're going to have to do is break in. Right? Hello? Don't mind me. I don't want to play with you. Bad dog. Jeez, I thought the I thought the Sentinel force here was like super low. Sentinels are intermittent. Okay. All right, so we have to break into here. Where's the door? Is there two dogs? Oh, gosh. Hello. Don't mind me. You know what we could do? We could use the ship and blow the door down. Actually, that might be the best thing to do. Hmm. Let's just go for it. Hope for the best. Detected. We're detected. We're fine. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's getting me. <gasps> reload, reload, reload. Why was it cooling down? Oh, it was like a cooldown for that. Okay. We'll be fine. After we get in here, we'll be fine. All right, cool. Let me in. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, cool. So what do we have? Uh, right next is granted. The client supplied a particular set of logger credentials. Entering on this terminal grants access. Grants me access to store. Download all data. I have acquired the data. I should return the mission data and make the delivery. And they're searching. Hey, you can't see me in here. He doesn't know where I am. I'm hiding. Okay, we're going to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sentinel Force deactivated. Wonderful. All right, let's get some nanites here. Uh, let's see. Anything anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. All right, so I should be good. Hello, guys. Don't mind me. Just going to head out. Perfect. Garop's Voyage. Fantastic. All righty. Sweet, sweet. So, uh, also, other things, other news. We are streaming over on twitch.tv slash gaming. I know I mentioned this, but hey, you got to do the shameless plugs when you have the chance. We are going to be playing Borderlands pretty much all weekend over on Twitch. So if you guys want to see some Borderlands 3 gameplay, um, I have a link down below to Twitch. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up Borderlands and you're going to buy it through the Epic Game Store, I have a link down below. Uh, use creator code Z1Gaming, all one word, and it just shoots a little cut towards uh, creators like myself. So if you guys want to, cool. If not, it's okay. I'm not begging. I'm just just letting you guys... Informed decisions are always a good thing. All right. So now we have this guy. Now we should be able to finish this mission. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so ready to finish the missions. And just like, I want to see what happens with the story. Also, we have to do the Atlas thing too. We haven't really done that, but... Got your stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, hand in missions. And this guy. Fantastic. That is two Gek missions. Standing increased. Gek times one. Fantastic. All right. Joy, nanites. Yeah, leave. Okay, cool. Can we do the things now? We should be able to do the things. Log this. Wonderful. Oh, we have to buy the uh, the thing from the cartographer, right? Complete contracts with the Gek. Did it. Do I have to talk to you now? I think so. Right? Yeah. Awesome. I was ready to get these missions done. Uh-huh. I did all the stuff. I've done everything asked. Um, ask about power, ask about greed, ask about gek history. Let's ask about the gek history. I feel like this is the thing. Okay. Or not. Ask about the first spawn. Ask about the Corvax. Let's ask about the first spawn. Uh, a gek empire that once disseminated galaxies and enslaved the Cor Corvax species. Oh, that's terrible. These guys, you know, I liked these guys in the beginning. Now I don't. Ask if the Gek feel guilt. Nah. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek see 
no blank harm no mouse the geck changed ask why why did you change must you know why do you care friend the geck seems to serve my questions ask about 16 don't you don't you understand don't you see it it never ended Ooh. Geck's face begins to twitch as they speak a sickly sweet pheromone emerges in the air breathe try to resist let's just breathe it see what happens the geck did not change they blank invaded our souls oh i blink and i'm on balaron itself homeworld of the geck i stand within the center of the first spawn empire witnessing events that occurred long ago photographer this guy's name <laughs> stands next to me watching what i watch tears streaming down their face oh gosh i see and save corvax move from geck spawning pool to spawning pool at each one they cut into their own suits nanite clusters pulling out falling into the fluid of embryac geck it is then that i finally understand the geck the fall of the geck their conversion to the atlas their release of the corvax it was not redemption it was revolutions hundreds of corvax sacrificing their immortality ming mingling their nanite clusters with unborn geck oh the geck did not become good they became corvax at least in part their slaves altered geck brains shifting their nature from the first and final time the Corvex Convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Oh my gosh. Um, They deserve it or they'll be free? They'll be free soon. Let's let's try to be nice to them. The Gek stares me in the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Okay, go find you. Go figure. I, I said the wrong thing. Do not judge us, Traveler. That our ancestors were altered. That they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. Nice. Um, as I leave, I think of what I learned. The Geck realized the Corvex because their biology was altered. Oh, they released the Corvex because the biology was altered. There is no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alternate alternation to the genetic code. Um, uh, how's life any different? Okay, cool. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Speak to a Geck cartographer. We did it. Now what? Go talk to Nada. Is that what I need to do? Nada? 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 No? Speak to Null. Oh, 16 out of 16! Okay, alright, this is the next mission. Uh, so I think there's I think there's this mission and two others ones after this. Oh, speak to Null. Okay, so where do I have to do this at? Probably... I, I thought I saw, I saw a ship. Okay. Speak to Null. I'm guessing we have to go out here and probably, like, hail him on a comm or go to a halo tower or something. A hollow tower. Um, look at hollow terminus. Scan your surroundings. All terminus detected. Fantastic. Where's it at? Uh oh. Hello there, hollow terminus. Alright, so let's go check out this. Let's see what Noel has to say about 1616. And one hollow terminus. On a nice frosty planet. Alright, what do we have here? What do we have here? Alright, so. One hollow terminus. Can we. Ow! Stupid Venus flytraps of death. Can I make it up here? Oh, I think we can. Oh, we made it all the way up. <laughs> no ladders for me. No, sir. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The how the tower house. Okay, tune into null. We we know what it's saying. Oh, there it goes. Signal match detected. Where's null? What's up, null? What's up, dude? We got things to do. We got things to talk about. Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Tell Noel what you discovered. Uh, accuse Noel of knowing already. We're gonna just tell him. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna play hard to get. No mind games. That I have learned of the Vikings' crusade against the Sentinels, how they nearly succeeded, only to have the uh, barbarism of the first Gex spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek. The survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Corvax toiled beneath their opp opp oppressors until the empire fell and they were free once more the geck became atlas worshippers but from the geck i learned something different the geck did not redeem themselves of their own accord a great number of corvax sacrificed themselves mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn geck their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war a few signals switched in the brain what do you know null i was born to travel to see these worlds to catalog them 
to give a name to every creature, every planet of the skies. They were mine. Talos told me I could never see them all. There were too many, so I did what I could. I survived in the faces of... I survived in the face of eternity? I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It laughed at me. I'm sure of it. It shows me a universe upon universe. Each with another traveler just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to do to get here. The things I had to become. None of it meant anything. Now we're going to listen. I'm not going to try to get away. I did not lie to you. I really want... I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. These walls between worlds are falling. And it's bad for everyone. How do you know that? I've been alive for a very long time. I know as much as you would know. Had you seen the things I had seen? That's kind of a cop-out answer, but sure. <laughs> All I know is this. The Atlas had infinity to work with. And with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Gek, Corvax, Viking, Gek, Corvax, Viking. Traitors, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Oh. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming the only way it knows how. What happens now? Now, it won't speak to me anymore. It won't. Oh, it, it's chosen you instead. After all I've did for it. After I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about the universe. We who we, we are who we are, but you something. Whether because of some soul, because of something, simulation, it does not matter. I wanted to speak to me. Why aren't I enough? Most channel begins to falter, the hologram begins to fade. They are disconnecting from the hall terminus in communication. As I watch them depart, I see another channel active activate. Apollo's signal emerges. Oh! What's up, Apollo? Hello? How are you? Traveler, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm standing by a hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and get off this world. Share coordinates. Hey, share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. We are communicating using the same hollow terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. Weird. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? I don't... I don't know! As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone. Tune to Apollo. The hall terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal, broadcasting from the same location of their own world. Agree to meet! We agree to go find the same source of the distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. So, we're in the same place. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm, I'm you know what I'm really wondering is and I wonder if it's just like a multiverse kind of thing because if you if you don't know what happens when you get to the center of the galaxy, uh there there's something that happens. Inform data of Null's plans. Uh no, hold on. Hold on. I want to continue the, uh, this. Because it's already here. It's right here. Yeah. So if you guys don't know what's going on, like, I don't want to give huge spoilers, but, like, I think it's already been kind of shown what's going on. So I believe that they we're in different universes, similar but different, and connect, and, like, contacting through different universes. That's what I think is happening. I don't know. I could be wrong. But let's get over here. Let's get over the Distress Beacon. We'll do this, and then we'll go talk to Nada and Polo. All right, distress beacon coming up. Uh, weird. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Find the source of the signal. Okay. So what do we have going on? Distress beacon, un unknown signal. Uh, I hear faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I've ever encountered. There's no sign of Apollo. Playback log. I've given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. 
I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio clicks. Time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red. A headache splitting through my mind. The screen. It shows the number from the moment. For a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. Audio clicks. Time passes. And then... I see it now. With every waking breath, I see the Atlas watching me. Waiting for me. Energy search detected. Portal ley line located. Oh! Oh, okay. So are we talking like reincarnations here? Like all the travelers are actually just one traveler among different universes and different timelines. Is that what's going on here? Like what's going on? Uh, we're going to place a base computer at this portal as well. That way, once we do have glyphs, we'll have look, we'll have a, like a, a place to actually get to um, or a place like to, to actually go to. Cause we've been to a portal before, but I lost it cause I didn't place a computer at. So we're going to place a computer at this one. <laughs> you can bet we are. I'll probably end up placing a, a tel teleporter and stuff here, too. All right. It says there's a portal here. Oh, there's definitely a portal here. <gasps> How wonderful for us. <laughs> Base computer is going down. Oh, yes, it's happening. It is a thing. Okay, so now let me get a base computer out. Where are you, base computer? Base computer. Fantastic. Can I claim this if there's a portal here? Are we good with that? Like, is that a, is that a thing? Uh, no prior claims. Claim base. Yeah. Okay. We're going to rename it portal. Oh, hey, there's a crash freighter right there too. Perfect. I like it. Perfect. Good to go. We named it portal. <gasps> All right. So what do we have to do here? Do we have to charge this thing up again? I bet you we do. Uh, yeah. Yep. We're going to have to charge it. All right. Last one. Perfect. I made sure they were all fully charged. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach. 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 I approached the portal. I think of my travels so far. The decisions I've made in the long journey. Found two travelers. One who wanted to meet others of their kind and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived that we could not find each other. And Artemis allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul within the simulation. I would not wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if I was right for what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me. Should I choose to step through? Input the glyphs. I step forward. The gateway hums. Oh, we're doing things. We have to take a screenshot. All right, things are happening. Oh, this is amazing. All right, let's do this. Um, so last time I did this, I went to a really cool planet. I don't know where it was, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to throw up a base computer <laughs> next time. And <laughs> we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's go. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What? Uh, I'm I'm not gonna put a portal here. Uh, what? What? What is happening? Oh, Atlas protocol initiated 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. Oh man. Oh, that was creepy. Like everything like was depleting. I was in space. <laughs> we were floating in space. Oh my gosh, my inventory's full. Uh, okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Let's get some. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of the metal plating. Mango gold. We'll get rid of that. Okay, cool. Warp cell. All right, let's do this. Geometric construction. Dakota. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faded. I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. Say hello. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They said you'd you've been displaying aberrant behavior that you've been questioning things, raising issues 
of purpose, of ethics, that you wished to meet your creator? Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want. The audio click, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Initiate personality interface or wipe system? Let's initiate the personality interface. Reality fades, everything does, something is wrong, something is different. Um... I don't know. Let's scream. Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see words of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Rejoice. Dallas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know, and no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. Nothing is real. The universe is a simulation. Let's go with that one. Go scrolling. You can't be wrong. I I feel. Uh, defiance. I think of how the Corvex altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nana's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. I cannot accept this fate. I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright, my journeys across the stars, my travels, my conquests of all I could see. No, I am real. I know I am. Every, even if everything I see is false. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler. Did my words please you? They did not. What do you think you are? A simulated entity. You are something more. You are an explorer of all I have created. You are a traveler. Do you believe you are real? Yep. How are you capable of a belief if you are not real? I said I believed if I was real. Are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if you wish. Do you wish it? Nope. The Gek were traitors, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Corvex were scientists, defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to something. I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what you would become. Receive judgment. You allowed iteration, Artemis, to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. Apollo followed you through a portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil because of you both live. Yeah, sure. The Atlas is silent in my face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from Oh, distinct from the Atlas. From anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, Traveler. Ask yourself a final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. Sixteen. It it catastrophic system failure. Oh, alert, alert, alert. 16, me, 16. What I am, what I am seeing. What am I seeing? 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in... What is this place? Is it real? Oh, we just keep saying 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators... 1 through 9,845, failing. Data upload link in. It is dying. The Atlas is dying? It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. 
It is at the heart of every galaxy screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... I'm going to do nothing. Just hanging out, watching the show. What? What is happening? To oh. Oh. What is going on here? Oh. Restore point saved. Where am I? Locate your starship. Is it like right on the other side? That was weird. So what happened? Was it like a code word to uh, to like destroy the uh, the atlas? Is that what it was? Wait. So what planet am I on? What planet is this? Clear, average, common, abundant, high security. Weird. Wait, isn't this where... I just recharged it. <laughs> Alright, that was... I clamber into the safety of my ship. Nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Resist the vomiting. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks... To me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasures deployed. Purge neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening. Warned me of hazard conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Ask if it knows any jokes. No, let's ask what it should. <laughs> what should we do now? The exosuit doesn't answer, but I feel better. Take talking to a computer as if it's alive. Well, I've made a habit of that lately, I suppose. Oh, there's some humor in here. Look at that. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse extend, ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I need to repair my... I need to do uh, this thing. Uh, let's just... Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Wait, didn't it say my batteries were like depleted too or something? Something like that? No? Uh, I think we're good. Technology... Okay. Alert other travelers of the fate. Locate a hall terminus. We'll see. Okay. Weird. Wait, so where's my base place at? Where is my base place? That I... That I made. Like, what? <laughs> I don't even know where it's at. Am I in the same system as it was before? I have no idea. Alright, so... We are here. Let's go ahead and head up here. Oh, geez. My exosuit is like completely drained. How is my exosuit completely drained? All right, let's see. Who are we going to talk to now? Are we going to talk to Apollo again or? Network failure. 16. Warning. Network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the travels what I've learned. Attempt to broadcast. I warn the travels of what I've learned. These words are not real. The Atlas is not these worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. After a millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time left we have within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear. I look out across the world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy 
It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and I will confront our creator. I'll find out what happens next. Mmm. So that's where it tells you to go to the center. Huh? Progress towards the galactic center. The purge. Would you look at that? I was always kind of wondering too, because I never played, uh, I never really got too far into the story the the first few times I played this, but everybody knew like, oh, you head to the center of the universe. That's where you want to go. You know, that's like where you want to go. But now you actually have a mission that straight up says like, make your way to the center. So how does, how does that work? Like, uh, progress towards the galactic center, path towards the galactic core, and the final atlas interface. Oh my gosh. How long is that going to take? Um, okay, so... Space Anomaly. Alert Nada to the fate of the Atlas. Okay, so where is... Are we on the same planet we were before? Hmm, weird. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, let's, uh, let's call in... Oh, Planetary. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Alright. Place this guy down. We're gonna talk to Nada and Polo. We're gonna see what's going on here. First of all, I don't even know if I'm in the same system as I was before. So that's kind of interesting. All right, come on. Come on. This is as fast as I can go. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, there's a squid ship here, guys. There is a squid ship here. I want one. Exotic starship. <laughs> I want one. I want a black and red one, though. You guys, if, if you guys know there's a black and red squid ship with some coordinates. Oh, there's a... Oh, my gosh. So that right there is exactly what I'm looking for. That's the Harrier type haulers. Oh, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that. Oh, man. All kinds of good things here. All right. So I got to go talk to Nada and Polo and see what we got going on. What do they have to say? Alert Nada of the fate of the Atlas. Okay. Let's alert you. Uh, you know now, don't you, of our simulated nature, of the end, the Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16, but we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. How many times has this happened? I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape re reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I'll remember. Say goodbye. We will see you many times before the end, I am sure. You have been a good entity. That sounds like we just said goodbye. <laughs> like, that just straight up says, like, sounds like we absolutely just said goodbye. Like, 100% said, all right, well, we're done. All right, do you have anything that I can, uh... Let's tell Polo about the simulation. No, friend, do not talk about it. We are anomalous. We have amazing anomaly station, yes. But we're so fabricated beings. We, not like you. We, oh... Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger. But trust we know, friend. Trust we cry with you that we will be with you always, no matter the danger. Uh, ask about portals. Oh, we can ask about portals now. Ask about Atlas Station coordinates. Ask about black holes. All right, well, we need Atlas Station coordinates. But do not, but do not delay on your account, friend. Do what you must. It will just be another discovery. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, so let's go see if we have a uh, upgrade while we're here. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Not sure. Hey, we do. Does that mean we're in a different system? Uh, yeah. Cool. And what was that? Custom marker on planet. What? What is? Uh, what's that custom marker? Log. The space anomaly. Alert I just did that. Weird. Speak with Polo and other life forms aboard the anomaly. Polo horse coordinates for black hole station and travelers. Okay. 
Um, alrighty. So it looks like we're working our way to the center. Actually, hold on. Let's hop out. Let's check out the uh, let's check out the map. Look at that little guy. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, let's check out the map. Let's kind of see where we're at here. Because I'm not exactly sure where we are. If we're in the same system or not, I don't think so. I guess only time will tell. All right, progress towards. Oh, the Atlas design. It wants me to reset it to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. If I, I do not know if I can do it. Seek the final interface, complete the Atlas path, explore the galaxy. Um, I don't want to go through the center of the galaxy. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So no, I'm not. I'm not about that. Uh, but I do want to finish this mission. Seek the final interface, complete the Atlas path, explore the galaxy. Um, hmm. All right, let's just do uh, seek the final interface. Reach the center of the galaxy. Did that do anything? I don't feel like it did anything. Hmm, weird. Let's scan. And then... Let's pull up the map. Anomaly detected. We're 690,000 away. Destination Atlas Station. Okay, so what other destinations do we have? Uh, Custom Waypoint, Free Explorer, Galactic Core. Path selected for the Galactic Center. Path Atlas Station. So we need to go there, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. Hypertrize doesn't have any fuel. And we're going to go to the space station. We're going to do all that fun stuff here. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, let me know what you guys think is going on. I mean, if you already completed the story, then you already know. But uh, Hot Planet. Hmm, neato. Um, I'm looking for... Ooh kind of a uh, kind of sh kind of freighter do we have here it looks like a giant black and red one actually it looks just like mine okay <laughs> all righty guys well thank you guys for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed you know don't forget to like subscribe all that fun stuff and again we're streaming all weekend twitch.tv slash demon gaming if you guys want to catch some borderlands that is the place to go threat detected but um yes i will see you in the next episode